Our first full day at sea, and like any other research crews, this is the time for the ship's officers to conduct a fire and boat drill with all personnel. During this drill, scientists are required to put on a survival suit, also known as a Gumby suit. This suit is critical for survival in case of abandoning ship. The ship's mates also discuss the proper deployment method of a life raft. Following this drill, scientists continue collecting their data and water for further experiments and analyses. Angel White, a scientist from Oregon State University, will provide some insight into arguably the most important piece of oceanographic equipment, a CTD rosette. This is another way to get water. This is essentially the core instrument of all of oceanography. We call it a CTD. It's a rosette of 24 bottles, and it's connected to a conductivity, temperature, and depth sensor. That's the CTD part of it, right? So there's a package of instruments that are mounted in between these bottles. So how this works, we've got a line. You see it's a big metal line, and it's connected to a winch. It gets picked up, the whole thing gets picked up, dropped overboard, and attached to this line, it's sending data to, CT, to uh, essentially to PC monitors inside the lab where we can look at real-time temperature, real-time depth, real-time fluorescence, so we get phytoplankton biomass, right? All sorts of other properties, scattering, so we get particles. So we're essentially taking the pulse of the ocean as this instrument's dropped down through the water column. When it comes back up, what we do is we attach tubes to this site here and we siphon off the water that's been collected in each of these bottles. So while it's down there, we get to trip bottles at each depth. So we're essentially saying, I want water from five meters. I want water from 10 meters. I want water from a thousand meters. And we can bring that up to the platform of the boat. They're full of water, right? You'll see in just a second, right? That's what's left over. So in that water, we've got phytoplankton, zooplankton, all sorts of chemical components. So we really want to try to understand how microbes are interacting with the chemistry and physics of the water out in this beautiful calm ocean. Every day during the course of this cruise, the CTD trace will be posted so everyone can follow along as the biology and chemistry change en route to Easter Island.